What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Florence Foster Jenkins. I wasn't really looking forward to this film, but there was a point where I was actually warming up to it a little bit, because I mean, it does have Meryl Streep and Hugh Grant in it. What could go wrong, right? But anyway, let's get into my review of Florence Foster Jenkins. Okay, so Florence Foster Jenkins is a biographical comedy drama film that was directed by Stephen Frears and stars Meryl Streep in the role of Florence Foster Jenkins herself, Hugh Grant in the role of St. Clair Bayfield, and Simon Helberg in the role of Cosme McMoon, the piano player. This film takes place in New York 1944 and follows the aspirations and late life of Florence Foster Jenkins, an heiress and aspiring singer who is actually really terrible at singing, but doesn't know that because everyone in her life has always told told her how great she is. Well, eventually she hires Cosme McMoon to be her full-time piano player, and the two book a gig to play at Carnegie Hall in New York City in front of an audience of 3,000. I should also mention that Florence is married to St. Clair Bayfield, but the two have an interesting relationship to say the least because of Florence's illness that has been with her for quite some time. So the rest of the movie is spent following Florence and her aspirations of being a singer while playing shows with Cosme McMoon, as well as Hugh Grant trying to make sure that Florence truly believes everyone loves her Bad singing voice. Okay, so I have to say, while well acted, this movie is very, very boring. The runtime for this film is one hour and 50 minutes, and things don't really pick up until the third act, and even then, it's not consistently very exciting or even entertaining. The first two acts are, dare I say, a snore fest, because you go through the same motions of Florence singing poorly and everyone telling her how great she is, and then doing a show, and you get one person who laughs or something, and she just ignores it, and then rinse and repeat over and over again. And this whole process process continues throughout the entire movie, and after a while you're probably going to get tired of watching the same scenario play out on screen over and over again. While this is a nice story, I almost feel like this would have been better as a documentary or a short film or something, because it just doesn't feel like there's enough substance to this story to make a full length film out of it. Another thing I should mention is that the movie feels more like a play than it does an actual movie. There's some odd uses of transitions, the sets look very play-like in some instances, and the dialogue even feels like it was written for a live play experience in several cases. I'm guessing this was done in order to appeal to the older crowd because if I had to guess, that's gonna be this film's target audience. I don't think most younger people are gonna watch a Florence Foster Jenkins trailer and say, hey, I gotta go see that. That looks really interesting and exciting. I saw this movie with my mom and the theater was mostly full of older ladies and gentlemen, probably like 60 plus. Now I know you can't generalize for the entire world off of one theater, but my guess is that this movie will appeal to an older audience on a much deeper deeper level than a younger audience. So like I said, the acting in this movie is great. Meryl Streep is always fantastic in any role she does, and Florence Foster Jenkins is no exception. It's pretty amazing how she can slip into any role, and it always feels like she embodies and brings so much life to that specific character. Now her character isn't exciting, because nothing about this movie is exciting, but she is well acted and pretty funny in some spots. There's a decent amount of comedy in this film, and most of it is pretty solid. It's not super funny, but it's not super unfunny funny either. I should also mention that she has some heartfelt scenes that are acted beautifully and gave this film some much needed drama in certain spots. This movie is essentially a three character movie. Besides Florence, the other two characters are Hugh Grant's character St. Clair Bayfield and Simon Helberg's character Cosme McMoon, the piano player. St. Clair Bayfield is actually a really interesting character because he's a caring and compassionate yet flawed one. He will do anything in his power to shelter Florence from the outside world so she can have whatever she needs and desires in life and in this case, she desires acknowledgement that she's a good singer. The two have a very unique marriage, and Bayfield keeps her in the dark about a lot of things that in his eyes he does in order to protect her. Hugh Grant did a really good job in this one, and it's good to see him back in a big role. He deserves more of these, I think. Simon Helberg was also really good in this movie. He plays a very friendly and quiet piano player who recognizes the truth about Florence's poor singing ability, but continues to play with her anyway, despite his better judgment telling him to go his own way. He forms an attachment to Florence, and overall, he is a very funny and interesting character. All three of these characters were very well acted and the dialogue was pretty solid overall. There are definitely some jokes and lines that didn't work for me and sometimes felt play-like, but the dialogue did mostly feel pretty true to the characters' identities. Another thing I liked about this movie was the music. The music did a really nice job of capturing that 1940s American lifestyle and it helped me as a viewer get into the feel and environment of the story. But overall, I have to say that I was fairly disappointed with this movie. I thought it had some great acting, some nice and funny moments 
with well-written dialogue and some good music that captured the feeling of 1940s America. Sadly, I also felt the story was very boring. The movie as a whole felt too much like a play. The environments looked a little unrealistic and unnatural in many cases, and there were a lot of very repetitive elements. I'm gonna give this movie a six out of 10 and recommend you pass on this one unless you're looking for a film that feels like a play or you just love Meryl Streep. So did you guys see Florence Foster Jenkins yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether you'd be interested in watching this movie or not. And as always, if you like this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. That's all for now. This is Wolfoxification signing off. See you in the next review.